Hi there, my name is Mike Catalfmo. I'm the sales engineer here at eBridge Software. Today I want to demonstrate the flow of an order from Amazon Web Store through the eBridge integration solution and into an ERP, which today will be Microsoft Dynamics GP. Let's take a look at the eBridge Amazon Store, which we use for testing here. Take note of the SKU number and the unit price for this item. Now I've already gone ahead and placed an order for this and I've completed the Amazon checkout process. Here's a copy of that order in Amazon. Take note of the SKU number, the order ID, and the date and time that the order was completed. We're going to use this information to track the order through the integration process. As orders are created on Amazon, they are automatically made available to the eBridge integration platform. The eBridge integration platform processes data from a number of sources, including web stores, CRM applications, and EDI trading partners, to name a few. Let's have a look at that Amazon order in the eBridge integration portal. Note that the order number is the same as we saw in Amazon, as is the order date, the order time, the item price, as well as the ship to information. You also have access to the raw data we get from Amazon untouched by eBridge so you can see exactly what information was made available to us. All of this information is available to bring into the accounting or ERP system. This integration portal is available online and accessible from anywhere. The integration of the order data is currently managed by an application installed on your side that connects to your specific accounting or ERP system and version. We take care of all of the installation, configuration, testing, and setup of the automation so you don't actually need to come in here on a daily basis. I'm going to go ahead and manually click the start button which will kick off the integration process to bring the orders into the ERP system. Remember. This is all set to run automatically for your installation. At the end of every import, a log file is produced that gives you some important details about the order. This log file can be emailed to you every time the import process runs or only if there are issues as we see here. You'll notice that there are a few warnings in the log file. I left those in on purpose so that you can see that there's active communication between the accounting or ERP system that we're integrating with and the posting process that the integration platform is performing. Warnings for things like invalid units of measure would be cleared up during the implementation process and we would account for those during the data transformation to make sure those don't occur in production. On line 12 you'll notice some information about the order that was posted. You'll see ORDST2230 which is the next sequential order number in Microsoft Dynamics GP. You'll also see the Amazon order number referenced, so in one place you see the sales order number in your accounting system along with the order number coming from your marketplace. Heading over to Microsoft Dynamics GP, we see the same information we saw throughout the process. In the PO number field, we see the Amazon order number. We see the unit price of 50 cents that came directly from the Amazon order itself. And we see the original Amazon order date. And even though we posted this order against an existing customer, we took the ship to address coming in on the Amazon order itself, just in case the customer made a change to the ship to address before submitting it. I hope that helps you understand the eBridge integration solution for Amazon a little bit better. Next time we'll look at updating inventory quantities back on Amazon. And if you have any questions or want more information, please visit eBridgeConnections.com.